Today on ROM Labs, I'm gonna build this, the Adafruit Tea Cobbler Plus for Raspberry Pi, and I'm gonna take my Raspberry Pi Zero Wireless and add a 40 pin header so I can use it for a future project. Let's get soldering. All right, so as I said, we're gonna build this. This is the uh, uh, Adafruit Pi Tea Cobbler Plus kit for Raspberry Pi. Uh, this one supports A+, B+, Pi 2. Basically, it's for every single Raspberry Pi that's got the 40 pin header. And what you gotta get in this kit is kinda neat. So, what they've done is they've basically made a little breakout board for you. So, you get a uh, GPIO ribbon cable, and you get two 20 pin, um, sing, uh, 20 by 1 pin headers that you'll sh I'll show you where they go in a second here. And you also get a um, 40 pin socket header. Uh, this is what's going to go on the board. And the board itself is actually, like I said, it's kind of neat. So it's got the socket connection right here. But if you can see, if you'll focus, it's got the pinouts labeled here. So not only does this have all 40 pins on the Raspberry Pi, it has the pinouts so you can read it. And, and the point of this is you can take a breadboard like this one, plop this on the breadboard and be able to easily access a pie without taking up much room. So you can still have all your, your connections to the side. You can have the pie off board somewhere else and just it's kind of an easy way to do it. So um, we're gonna do some soldering just because, hey, let's see what how, how it looks on camera. Um, I know Ben Heck did a lot of soldering on the Ben Heck show and people seem to really enjoy that. So uh, I got my Heiko 7, um, I'm sorry, my Heiko 888 Delta. Uh, it's warming up to 700 degrees. I'm using some Radio Shack uh, high-tech rosin core solder, silver bearing at 62362. Um, it's been my go-to solder for a while now. I've, I've had this one for quite a few years, as you can see, but it works well. I also got some uh, super wick um, solder wick in case I need to clean some stuff up. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna basically use this breadboard as a support for my uh, soldering. So I'm gonna put these headers in here. And I'm basically, the, what you're gonna do is attach these to the bottom of the board, just like that. And I'm going to put both of them in place just to get the spacing right. And just kind of shuck this down on the board. Come on, make sure, I think that should be right. So, just to give myself some support, make it a little easier to solder since I don't have a set of uh, helping hands or any other support tools. And I'm gonna kinda slay the board right on top there. And that looks like it's gonna be just about right. It's actually it's sitting really nice. I don't have to feel like I have to hold it down or anything. Now the way I like to solder is I'm gonna start I'm gonna start here with the ground, which is this last pin over here, just to get support, and then probably do the the other one, and then go right through the line. So, and make sure my tip is nice and tinned. And let's see what we can do here. Come on. Let it cool off a bit, and we're looking good. So I'm gonna do M uh, number 21 up here next. All right, looking good, looking good. So let's get the three volt three the three volt that ah, excuse me the three volt three pad done. There we go. It's going quick now. Do the five volt pad next. So we got both corners tapped down. And that's it. So, let's just go through and get the rest of them done. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm happy with that. I'm, let's go on and do the next half of the board. All right, I'm gonna start here with 21, which I've already did, make sure I got heat on it. I think I'm gonna be 
happy with that. Okay, so what I did here, I took a piece of electrical tape and wrapped the, the header and attached it to the board so that I can have something to secure it without it wiggling around too much. That looks good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with these two right here and then do the other side. And again, the, the main point of this is not to do anything but secure the board, secure the header to the board so that I can work on it easier. Gotta get in there at the right angle. All right. Okay, so I got the four corners soldered and let it focus. I got those four and those, I'm sorry, this two, those two and those two soldered. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and solder the rest of these pins. I melted a pin. So if you see right here, that one pin came out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, grab some solder wick, use that to wick up that solder that's right on that pad. All right, let's see if that'll do it now. There we go, so fix that one pin. It's now all even with the rest of them. I'm gonna put some solder on it real quick. Perfect. All right, let me check those joints and that should be that. So why does a device like the Teak Cobbler make sense to own? So if you look at what the, the um, the header on a, on a Raspberry Pi, you notice it's about, it's a very close pitch. Here's a, here's a header, I'm gonna, the center header I'm gonna solder in, and you see that that actually won't fit between the, the gap in the board. Now, I can put it here, but that shorts out all these pins because the way the breadboard works is these are all connected in a line. So that whole strip from this pin to that pin are all connected together. So that's why there's more of a gap on the tea cobbler to allow it to fit over the uh, over a gap in the breadboard and make it a little bit easier to work on. All right, so same process as before. I'm gonna start and just tack two of them down, tack two of them down, and I'm gonna work towards the center to solder it. So clean off my soldering iron here, grab my solder, and here we go. is a soldered header on a Raspberry Pi Zero wireless. That is the Adafruit Tea Cobbler Plus, but for Raspberry Pi. And that is a 40 pin header on a Raspberry Pi Zero wireless. Thanks for watching and keep making things.